Yeah, well. That's like super traditional yeah, Norwegian, well. right? Like that's because it's so. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, well, actually, I think Glipish uh, stems from uh, Portugal. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, like the the recipe in a way. But uh, then again, like we 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 were the first ones to make stockfish. Oh. And stockfish is basically Glipish. Just don't salt it. Capers in the sauce? Yes. I love capers. I know it's delicious. Oh, you're making a Raider soup? Yeah, more or less. It's uh, yeah, it's from the Sami uh, uh, culture, more or less. That Norway kind of adopted into their own uh, as a result of it because it's fucking amazing, I'd say. Uh, we use uh, some brown cheese, uh, shredded uh, reindeer uh, meat, uh, a lot of mushrooms, uh, some bacon, and uh, then lingonberries to top it all off. And it usually goes together with some uh, just some simple uh, potato mash, but instead we made uh, a mash out of uh, fuck man, I don't know what's the name in English name so but yeah, virus and artichokes. Even more in Norwegian traditional thing because it's, it's the first thing we had before potatoes in Norway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so before potatoes came to Norway, we would make mash out of this, and that would be the regular thing. So for this dish, it's more like the presentation is kind of contemporary flair, modern yeah. flair. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But simple or traditional ingredients. Oh yeah, very, very so, very, very so. What is it? It's uh, cheese traditional. Uh, oh, that's the sweet Norwegian cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, Tell you about it. Yeah. It's not the cheese. It's, it's, a, it's caramelized whey. So really? it's uh, the byproduct of cheese making. Oh, it's the leftover. Yeah. And you reduce it, and uh, when it's reduced to like a syrup almost, you add some cream, and uh, some of them also use some uh, sugar. Stuff. What makes it sweet? Huh? What makes it sweet? Uh, it's the lactose in the whey. Oh, okay. Because it has a lot of lactose. Yeah. So, yeah. If you're lactose intolerant, don't eat it. <laughs> no good. Yeah, you guys love that stuff. The kids in my building have bought it. I've tried it. Yeah? Yeah, you tried it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Really? Yeah, there's so many different types. And, uh, what do you use it for here? 
And now we're gonna be using it for the lutefisk, like oh, a side dish. And we're gonna make, I think they're gonna make a sauce of it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, normally you just eat it with butter on the yeah. bread. Yeah. Just uh, bread and butter on a cracker. And this is the Osterhaber. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So this is made of uh, goat uh, milk. Mm. It's so heavy. Yeah. It's caramel. Mm -hmm. Is this the thing, does everybody do this? Like, use this with lutefisk? No. Oh. That's just like you guys came up with it for the menu? Yeah. Nice. It's not normal, but it's not uh, unnormal to yeah. come up with. So. Sure, yeah. But, uh, you, don't like do it. You, you don't do it at all. No, not at all. <laughs> So how do you guys take Norwegian, Northern Norwegian tradition and make it your own thing here? Uh, however you can like Combine tradition with the latest, like the latest of the latest, whatever kind of chef culture you have, and uh, still not make it too unfamiliar for uh, the older generations that really make the tradition food. And uh, as long as you can combine it and sort of don't make it too foreign for them, then uh, that's the goal, I guess. So things on the menu like lutefisk, yeah, reindeer stew, uh, yeah, like the, for instance, like the lutefisk. Tradition-wise, uh, there's like always the difference the household where make or, or way to make it. Some households enjoy their fish being very soggy and uh, uh, really, yeah. Uh, so it varies um, greatly, but I think the. The norm now is having a, a decent uh, fast fish like that's pretty holding that holds uh, yeah the consistency. So uh, and uh, and that combined with the new technology we have in the kitchen here that people don't have home, it can make yeah, a better fish. I think. Yeah. Service. 